Alma's Colors Alma Thomas lived a long time ago. That's why this picture of her is in black and white. But Alma was an artist who loved colors. What colors do you see in this painting? This painting is called Snoopy Sees a Sunrise. March is Women's History Month. Boys and girls, pause the video while you write your first name, last name, and date at the bottom of your Scholastic News. Alma found beauty. Alma Thomas found beauty everywhere. The beauty she found made her want to create. It made her want to make art. As you read, Think about the different ways Alma created. When Alma was a child, she found beauty at home. Her mom was a dressmaker. Alma watched her sing songs while she sewed colorful dresses. The dresses looked like beautiful art too. Sorry, beautiful art to Alma. Everything she made was like a painting, Alma said. She found beauty in nature, too. There was clay in the ground near her house. Alma scooped up the clay in old cans. She used it to sculpt things, like little cups and plates. I was always building something, she said. Alma got older and went to school. She found beauty there, too. She loved art class. She said it was a beautiful place just where I belonged. Alma the teacher. Alma graduated from school and became an art teacher. She loved teaching, and she loved her students. She took them to museums and started art clubs for them. She kept creating things, too. She made puppets for her students. She made little buildings out of cardboard. And in her free time, she made paintings. She painted pictures of things she saw, like bottles and crowds of people. Alma the Artist When she was 69 years old, she retired. She stopped teaching. Now she had more time to create and paint. She wanted to try something new. I decided to try to paint something different from anything I've ever done, she said. Different from anything I'd ever seen. Instead of painting things the way she saw them, she painted them the way they made her feel. She looked at flowers. She felt like they were dancing in the wind. She painted them in little dabs of paint. There were colorful and they were colorful and beautiful. They were Alma's flowers. People loved Alma's new style of painting. They put her paintings in museums. Alma became a famous artist. She was 80 years old. Alma found beautiful things everywhere. She shared that beauty with the world, and she did it in her own way. By Blair Rainsford. Alma's World of Color Alma used to use paint to create colorful shapes and patterns. Here are three of her paintings. A Fantastic Sunset in 1970. Tiptoe Through Tulips in 1969. Blast Off in 1970. And this is um, Alma painting in her studio.
Alma Thomas's timeline. So here, boys and girls, we have a timeline. We've done these before. We're starting in the year 1890, and it goes all the way through 2020. And then uh, we have every 10 years marked off on this timeline. Then we have these red lines that connect to important events in Alma Thomas's life. So our first one comes right here in 1891. That's when she was born. Here in 1924, she started teaching art. Here in 1960, she retired from teaching. Here in 1972, she had a show at a famous museum, and this was the painting that was in her show. Here in 1978, she died. And down here in 2015, one of her paintings was put up in the White House. That's where the president lives. So question one, when did she retire from teaching? Was it 1924, 1960, or 1972? So you're going to find those times on the timeline. In 1924, is that when she retired? In 1960, is that when she retired? In 1972, is that when she retired? Question two, what happened in 1924? So go to the timeline, find 1924, and what happened? Was she born? Did she start teaching art? Or did she retire from teaching? What happened in 1924? Question three, Alma was born blank the year 1900. Was she born in the year 1900, before the year 1900, or after the year 1900? So on the timeline, locate 1900, and was she born in 1900? meaning that's the exact year before 1900 or after 1900. Question four, which of these happened last? She started teaching art. She retired from teaching. She had a show at a famous museum. Looking at these three events, which one happened last? She started teaching art, she retired from teaching, or she had a show at a famous museum. Talk, <clears throat> excuse me, talk about it. Alma had her show in the museum when she was 80 years old. How do you think she felt to become famous at that age? made them. Alma Thomas did. She was an artist who loved color. Here are five things to know about Alma Thomas. Number one, as a kid, Alma loved nature and nature things. When Alma was a little girl, she loved spending time outside in nature, surrounded by colorful plants and flowers. She also loved making things. She made teacups and bowls with the wet clay soil she found near the house. Alma took her first art class in high school. She said, when I entered the art world, it felt like entering heaven. Number two, Alma was an art teacher for much of her life. She started out as a kindergarten teacher. Later, she became an art teacher at Shaw Junior High School in Washington, D.C. She taught in the same classroom for 35 years. She also brought artist paintings into the school and hung them up for kids to look at, learn from, and be inspired by. And when she wasn't teaching kids about art, she was making her own art. Number three, Alma made her paintings with short, colorful brush strokes. What shapes do you see in this painting? What color 
is to receive. To receive her. And this painting is made of small plant strips of color. People call them edible strips. They were her specialty. Number four, Alma's paintings were inspired by nature. Alma talked about watching the leaves and flowers tossing in the wind as though they were singing and dancing. She wanted to express that feeling with her art. This painting is called Wind Dancing with Spring Flowers. You may be thinking, but there are no flowers in it. That's true. Alma didn't paint the flowers. She painted how the flowers made her feel. She painted their colors and movement. These paintings were inspired by flowers, sunsets, and even outer space. Number five, Alma didn't become a famous artist until she was 80 years old. That's when she had her big break. Her paintings were shown at the Whitney Museum, one of the most important art museums in the country. In fact, Alma was the first black woman artist to get her own show there. She was also the first black woman to have her art hung in the White House. That is where the president lives. Today we remember Alma Thomas as a great artist, but she was also a lover of nature, of color, and of the amazing world around her. She said, color is life. Boys and girls, please write your first name, last name, and date at the top line. Word work. Answer the questions about vocabulary words from your issue of Scholastic News. Question 1. The article says Alma Thomas found beauty everywhere. The beauty she found made her want to create. What do you think the word create means? Find information, make new things, or become a teacher. What do you think the word create means? Question two. The materials are just some of the things an artist could use to sculpt. The, sorry, the materials below are just some of the things an artist could use to sculpt. Which material did Alma use to sculpt? Circle it. Did she sculpt with metal? Did she sculpt with wood? Did she sculpt with clay or did she sculpt with stone? Which one did Alma use and circle it? Question three. Look back in the article. What sort of things did Alma sculpt? Draw them here. So go into your Scholastic News. When it talked about Alma sculpting, she sculpted a couple of things. Draw one of them here. Question four. When Alma retired, what did she do? She stopped teaching, she started painting, or she stopped teaching and paint, started painting. So what did Alma do when she retired? 